Hi, I'm Elibet, and we're starting fresh on Conan Exiles Age of Sorcery. At the moment we're playing single player, but I do usually play official PvP. So I will be doing a lot of the strats that I usually implement, but with the end goal of building a nice castle instead of getting blown up. I've got a couple of random stuff from my other demonstration characters around that I may even blow up at some point. But enough with that, let's get started. Let's climb this guy, a few journey steps out of the way. Let's press V again, already off to an excellent start. Let's see if I can try and not miss the water skin like I like to do every time, get some fiber. I think the main goal in this first episode would be to get as many levels as we can and maybe work our way over to either Sepumaru or the jungle. I haven't quite decided yet. I will try to um, give some tips along the way for if you are a PvP or you wish to try out PvP. But these are mostly official standards with the exception of thrall taming time I have turned up because I'm not about that waiting life let's be honest they take a little bit too long for how quick they die so we've turned that down to about 20% I think and um, everything else should be pretty on par but the four times gather which I add is really nice I do accept that Hopefully it never goes away. Especially on PvP when you're getting your stuff lost all of the time. It's really nice to be able to like recoup that. Let's get these ones out of the way too. Maybe eat. I did walk past the water skin. Okay, I'll make another one. I'll make an axe first and maybe skinning knife. Need to get a few more sticks and make a torch. Get that journey step. Make some clothing. Not wildly interested in his story, but I'll get his journal anyway. Forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. In the middle. There is huh? something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the More skittering sticks. of their paws outside the ruins. We have enough sticks for a torch now. Start crafting some clothing as well. Get that one. Place. I've yet to meet a beast that liked fire. The sticks. Or the bite of the axe. Oh, give me the sticks. And we'll craft a bedroll. Now hopefully that actually crafts because um, this game doesn't love to continue the crafting queue after it crafts twine and stuff sometimes. We'll see, we'll see. The crafting hammer particularly if you need craft. What? If I could speak. The crafting hammer especially if you're crafting twine is um one that seems to bug out after it crafts the twine. Now you might think, why didn't I get a pick? You'll need that pick. Well, this gets me more sticks at a far more convenient rate, but also gets me wood and a little bit of stone. Where's the pick? You get bark, which I will make the pick now. Look out this guy, get that journey stuff out of the way. It, it did wig out, it didn't make him bed roll. I'm gonna work my way down towards the river. If I can steal some turtle eggs along the way as well. I might get into a fight I can't handle, but I can skin these guys. We love that for us. That guy's just sleeping, whatever. We don't care about him for now. Moving along. Regularly, I would try to not stay along the beach too long because it is kind of a hot spot for thirsty. PvP players. I can get the aloe as well. That's pretty important early on because you'll be taking a bunch of damage. Oh, these guys are still following me. I'd prefer if they didn't. <laughs> that would be nice. Let's eat some snacks and hopefully there's no boss turtle here. I don't have a weapon. Another new one, eh? Talk to him, get the journey step, learn an emote, because everyone needs to politely clap. At the moment, I want to try and work my way down towards the Tafari bone weapons, so I can try and get a bit more of a decent axe and potentially kill the bearer up on the hill. 
I may even run past the yoga religion on the way. I think first we do need to put a bedroll somewhere. Oh yeah. No one. No one good. Oh, Carpenter 3 though. Yeah, I don't think we wanted to pick fights with them. Well, this actually might be a decent spot to place a bedroll. Oh, that was weird. We might even go and unlock some stuff quickly, like some weapons. I'll unlock this and daggers if I have enough. We also want... Fireplace. Probably bed. And box. Pretty good for now. And attribute points. Strength gives me the ability to carry more. And kill things better. And I definitely want some vitality. But for now I will also focus on expertise so I can get the battle harvesting. That will make my life a little bit quicker. Get some snack legs. Go fireplace. Cook my trash meat. Get that journey step. Now let's finish crafting. We're going to pick up that and get our campfire back. Leave our bedroll. Continue running this way. We may even craft a couple more bedrolls. We'll also make a weapon while we're here. Do we have enough for that? I probably want to make a water skin as I did not acquire one earlier and turn the rest of this into twine while I'm going in because I will need that twine later. <laughs> Regardless. Let's go up and touch Yogg. Learn his religion. There's an emote up here we can also touch. There's also one on the other side of the bridge, but we didn't do that. No doubt I'll be back to New River at some point. Ooh, now we can be submissive. Also important when playing solo on a single player save. Random story. Hell has Let's get some bark while we're here too. We don't have a lot of encumbrance, but we can put a few more points into that. Dry wood will be good for the burning as well as turning into insulated wood once we unlock that. Great. This one there was more hyenas around here. Try not get too full before we can build a house. Stay your hand, stranger. You are lost. Seeking guidance, yes? We are gonna learn sorcery at some point, but we don't need to focus on that right now. Plus we gotta get in and out of the cave and keep our book. So yeah, we won't do that at the moment, but we might try and see if we can't sneaky kill the bearer up over here. Climb up and over here, that'd be convenient. And we'll get my stamina back. This actually wouldn't be a horrible little spot to build something eventually. I can build anywhere. Can't. Ah! No! I'm not ready for you! Yeah. That'll do. Now I'm ready for you. There's a way we can walk up over here. Eat an egg. Heal a bit. Do I? I actually am not making any potions. Didn't make some potions. We didn't keep any grass bandages. We definitely need them. Funny, it scared me. Style 
ostrich. Oh my god, he's mean. He gave me a lot of XP. What are you gonna... Whoa! Stay still. I want your body. He did give good meats and a lot of feathers. I don't really want his feathers right now. Yeah, I have a bit more health in my life. My weapons are in a good slot. Let's go. I just need to lure them out. I was taking far too many hits, pretending like I was in heavy armor. Oh no! I might need to get myself a shield. I got a bandage again. I, I'm gonna get messed up in that, but I wanna, I don't wanna. Lure him out. I do not think I can take more than one of them at a time. Oh, well, well, we'll get to see. Oh, shit. Why oh, we have the potions to heal quickly. Up to the daggers. Do a dupe around the trees. No, oh, catching me. Okay, I killed one of them. The other one's stuck on this rock. Loot this one and go back for that one. Oh, some proper shoes. Nice. Smashing out the journey steps. Where's the bear? Oh no, he's like hurting me with those bows. Okay, he's almost dead. I'm almost dead, but he's almost a death shield. I got two shields. Run back here. Let's equip a shield. Eat a bug and put on a bandage. Don't want to accidentally eat raw meat. Okay, now we're good and healed. We got a shield. Block. Let's go. Oh. Are there any more guys hiding here? Back to daggers. Committing! Okay, gotta drink a potion. Here is dead. Now for the fighter. Dude. Dabbity. Dabbity. Nope. Okay, that should bleed him to death. Good. Oh, there's a bear too. Nice. That was totally worth the drama. Are there any boxes to loot here? Nice, we got some food. That was a pretty successful mission. Let's head over towards the other camp. On our way over towards Saipemaru. Oh, there's another guy. Another camp. Oh, there's a few guys. 
be a bit crazy. I bleed him out. Nope. He must bleed. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, this other guy. See me. And cripple me. Slash, slash. Oh gosh. I'm gonna run out of ally potions. I'm pretty sure there's another around here. Bush around here somewhere. Sound dance, I think. I really want to equip that. Maybe drop the shitty shield and arrows. Drop this from heaviest. Do you want to craft one of these though? And shoot an enemy. It's slower than that one, but let's repair that quickly as well. We don't want our daggers breaking. Dagger M. I'm stamina back while this guy's aggroed. And down. Oh, and the berries. Got a bandage. Takes so long. You have for me nothing great. Come, Shadow. Looks here. Oh, lots of masks. That's not useful. Oh no. Oh, we might die here. I don't think I can take both of them. See if I can't draw one away. Okay, good. This is an unfair fight. She's got a stone me um I miss. Ah almost got me. Am I gonna get her first? Yes. Not worth it. Oh, that one was way way better than this one. We dropped that one too. Do not want to become over encumbered. Bandage again. Make some more. Oh god. Oh, there's so many of them. Run this way. That was a fight I could not win. Just keep running. Oh, those cripply archers. Oh, baby hyena. I don't think we'll get that mummy hyena will be around somewhere. I'm up here and apply a bandage before we get wrecked by hyenas. My bedroll pretty close by. Oh, aloe. We need that. Oh, well, let's get in on this. Below their XP. Still need throw this at an enemy. Huh? 
Okay, that's how you shoot with that. Ew. Poor baby had to die. Let's get sated and try and heal along our way. Okay, we have started to go a bit too far. This is risky, aggroing every painter in the valley. At least I'm just outrunning them. <laughs> Might as well get the dance while we're up. If I can't kill this hyena, I'll two, three. How many hyenas are there? Two. Oh, the other one left in a plastic manner. Hey. Oh, Marello. That means more potions. And I'll need them. So the plan is to run down there and then back out. I definitely did not come here the best way for that. You know what? I don't even need the Tafari Bone weapons. I think we're just going to run towards that city and build our little starter base. That damn being so full, no damn stamina. Ooh, forbidden iron. I want it. I want the forbidden iron. Oh well, keep running. Gotta run past here too, so I can get the visit the city. Visiting the unnamed city is also a journey step. As we're wearing mostly cloth, we won't be fighting anything in there. Not today. Probably not tomorrow. Now, I don't want to make anything in here mad at me. I don't even think I can take that scorpion. There we go. Nope, not today, sir. Leave this godforsaken place. Continue the mission to Sepumaru. And our first house. Oh, skeleton. And hopefully that's not it. Oh. Hoping that's just unnamed city sky. How is this unnamed city sky? Away, skeleton. I listened. Oh look, some not forbidden iron. Get him. That's also a journey stop. Now we don't want to be right next to the rhinos or particularly the scorpions because they're kind of annoying still at my level. I think somewhere around here would be a nice little starting base and eventually a wheel base for when I come back. And it might even be a good space for ultimate base. Now, we need a repair hammer. I mean, crafting hammer. There we go. There we go. We'll save that other point. I'm around here. Pretty nice spot. We might as well build it properly. So right now, I don't need anything gigantic.
We need more stone. Not bad. Not wood. Plenty of stone around these parts. Oh, and some wood. A decent chunk of wood because we're still on the need to build a box and get that journey step out of the way. The importance of always having daggers. I want my things. I'm too fat and I can't free craft now. Alternatively, I could also flip back. If I can't see where I'm going, I might fall into something. And it uses moral stamina. All in all. Okay, let's build a box. I want a bed too. A bed would be nice. Bed there. And mind you, I think I have to build it too high unless I pick the bed up again. But that's not too bad. See so where we got our supply materials. That's a decent amount of iron that I now don't have to farm. I like that. We'll put away a couple of spare things that we will probably need. Eat the bone broth. Mm, bone broth. We will throw a orb and save the other one for when I get another orb. I'm a lot lighter now, which is nice. You get more stone. Now, I personally prefer to have two doors as thralls when you start to get them do tend to get stuck in the doorway so yeah be. and that's kind of annoying when you can't get out you know so to avoid that two doors also in pvp it's nice to have an alternative exit if you're being barricaded in by people outside this is huge it's most PvE thing I've built in a while. But hey, we might as well make it kind of nice. This should give me plenty of room. Oops, messed that up. Building now is so easy with that feature. I like, I get. Although I would still like a search function. Um, I'm like that and that. Maybe gates too. That's not right. Well, I might end up making that into a second floor, so for now, we'll do that. And they might even be still. More twine. Always more twine. Let's pop some doors in there. To save any random creatures wandering in. We seem to have full shelter even under nope, not under here. That's okay. We have full shelter under here. And for a pro tip, you can use the feed box as a uh, shitty preserving bin for people food if you have no animals. <laughs> Otherwise, animals will eat it. Let's see if we can't pop down a furnace. Get some stuff smelting for the next episode. I think we'll use the 420 box. Um, the dry wood for now, because we do live near a bunch. We don't have tier 2 unlocked yet, or particularly any present. So we need 50 iron and we can get that. 
and a armor is bent which seems pretty to do right now although we can get all the set armor the she might relic hunter armor in the next episode well that was a pretty decent haul for the first episode we've made it far we've journeyed all the way up towards b6 which is pretty decent i think in our next episode we might try and start getting some silver at the silver mine trying to avoid the scorpions level up a little bit maybe with them Run around Sepimaru and get some of the steel and thick leather boxes and try and get us some heavy armor to tank some more enemies. Yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like and a subscribe as I'm fairly new to YouTube. Every little bit helps and I'll catch you on the next episode.